Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to St. Anne's as we gather together for our liturgy of the fifth Sunday of Easter. My name is Dick Koshan, and I will be your lecturer for this glorious celebration. Jesus gave us a new way of life, to love one another as I have loved you. Our celebrant is Monsignor Elmer, and the homilist is Deacon Bob. Uh, our second collection is for the Adopt a Missionary in support of our annual youth mission trip this year to Philadelphia. Our opening hymn is Praise God from Whom All Blessings Flow, number 565. We will sing verses 1 and 2. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your good evening, everyone. Uh, today in our scriptures, we hear some readings about the early church and uh, you know, how the, the faith uh, grew and spread among uh, uh, that part of the world. Uh, and uh, certainly the Inspiration of the Holy Spirit was there in the hearts of the apostles and the followers of Jesus, as the Holy Spirit is with us today, calling us to you know, peace and reconciliation with God and with one another. With that in mind, let us now call to mind our need for God's mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed elders for them in each church and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Italia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice 
from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them and they will be his people. And God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Judas had left them, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and God will be will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment to love one another. As I have loved you, you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. So let's take a moment today to look at our journeys. A moment to see the direction in which we're headed in. A moment to take a breath of air from business and from school and activities and from sports. A moment in this season of Easter to see how the Easter message, the message of the cross and the resurrection is within our body, within our souls, and within our minds in everything that we do, and in everything that we are. Jesus gave us a lot to chew on, a new road, a new path to journey, though it's a journey in the same direction as the old, and that's towards our Father. It's really important to contemplate and pray often over the Easter message and how it applies and how we apply this to our our lives as people of God. And what Jesus meant when he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And what he meant when he said, come follow me. And what he meant when he said, I came in fulfillment of the law. And what he meant when he said, as we heard in the gospel today, I give you a new commandment. On that first Holy Thursday, Jesus' last Passover meal, it started in a very traditional way, but from it was born a new way. And first of all, first of all, service. In the washing of the feet, that example. Service to one another. All of this and all of what he said culminates in this. 
in community, in service, in service to others. <clears throat> Not so much what I need or what we need, but what can I give? What can we give to others based on the Easter message that's written, written within our hearts? And then also that night, the Eucharist. Take and eat. This is my body. And then taking the cup, drink from it. For this is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed on behalf of the forgiveness of sins. All of what he said culminates in this, the Mass. Community prayer in receiving the Eucharist. Nourishment for our spirit. Nourishment for our souls and our hearts. To give to those around us based, based again on that Easter message that's written within our being. And as we heard today, to love one another. As I have loved you, so you also shall love another. This is the basis of the new road to follow. When Jesus said so many times in the good news, come follow me, he was talking about all that he did in his ministry as examples for us. Look to the Sermon of the Mount as Jesus taught us more about the way, the truth, and the life of, his, of this new path. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are the merciful, blessed are the clean of heart, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Jesus continued to point us to the Easter message throughout his whole ministry. And Jesus told us in the Gospel of Matthew, you might remember this, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. And this, this passage is so important, really important to understand. Come follow me is not a parallel path with the law. The law is the springboard that launches us into the way, the truth, and the life. Christ is the culmination of the law. Fulfillment means a new order, a new way of life, a new way that's upon us. Now in the second century, Justin Martyr, who was a defender of the truth of Christ, wrote about the new way. And as I read this short passage, think about this in light of our current society and where we are in society. He said this, we who formerly valued all things, I'm sorry, we who formerly valued above all things the acquisition of wealth and possession, now bring what we have into a common stock and communicate to everyone in need. We who hated and destroyed one another and on account of their different manners would not live with those of a different tribe, now, since the coming of Christ, live familiarly with them and pray for our enemies. He described the change of heart that the early Christians lived, a true new order, a new path in their journey that seems to have been forgotten over the years. But back to our present day, to us here in this community, to our path in life, our journey, can we see the way of Jesus in our lives like Justin Martyr did, where community is the focus of the way, people helping people, people sharing their talents and love for God with each other in community, together at Mass, where no one is labeled this or that. No one is excluded for being a member of a different tribe or for this reason or for that reason. Only one label exists for each and every one of us in the entire world, and that is that we're all children of God. All are welcome.
Our love of God is central to our journey. It strengthens our purity of heart as our purity of heart drives everything we do, drives our actions. Our faith is a spiritual pathway, a life built in transformative practices of love, which is the Easter message, rather than doctrinal belief. Community is where the love of God is found, shared, given, received, and the opportunities for this are endless. We need to just take advantage of them and to be open to the Holy Spirit working in our lives. So at this time, I'd like to just say a few words with respect to our second collection today. That's Adopt a Missionary. The missionaries that you can support are our children of this parish. And this year we're headed to Philly, as you might have read on the wall earlier. And this parish is so amazing. It's amazing in that we as a community have supported sending our youth out into service to other communities away from their families, away from manliness, away from TVs, away from computers and cell phones every year since 2010, except, of course, during 2020, the COVID. And we have supported this activity through many different avenues, through chaperone volunteers, who I see some out there. Thank you so very much for your past support. Prayers and financial giving. And which are all important aspects to make these trips so successful. Corrine Lamb, our youth minister, and I are ever so grateful for all of your support that gives our high school youth, and that's grades 9 through 12, the opportunity to experience the Holy Spirit maybe in a little bit different way than they're used to through the combination of service and kinship and fellowship, prayer and praising God. So we have taken upwards to 55 youth at a time in some years and every one of your children, every one of them that have gone on these trips experienced the transformational transformation of heart which has been amazing for me and our chaperones to experience and to be a part of. All of our missionaries return home just a little bit different than when they left, as the Holy Spirit works, as you know, in amazing ways. To experience the spark of the Holy Spirit from within your children gives me great hope for the future. And it is a week of sleeping on floors with no electronic devices, in sleeping bags, and bag lunches, and cooking meals, but it's also all the rest, that service, the praise, the fun, and the prayer. And this year, our trip is to Philadelphia, June 26th to July 1st. And the theme is, for real, love authentically. And the passage that we'll be working on all week is, don't just pretend to love others, really love them. So I just like to Thank you so much. And if you're able to adopt one of our missionaries as a gift of opportunity for our youth, we thank you for that. We thank you for your past support. We thank you for your support. And you may have um, take, gotten these at home. This is an envelope for today. Um, if you um, didn't realize it was Adopt a Missionary today, you can uh, put it in a, a collection in the next couple of weeks. But we're so grateful for all that you do for the children of the parish. Thank you so much.
Let us now profess the faith of our church as we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate with the Virgin Mary, and became a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, or to the resurrection of the dead, <clears throat> the life of the world to come. The new Jerusalem is being formed already, wherever the new commandment to love one another is put into action. Our prayers for others extend that love. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, our Bishop Douglas, and all bishops and priests, that through the grace of God they open the doors of faith to those around them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are troubled or lost or unsure of tomorrow, may the Holy Spirit lead them towards the one body of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the citizens of the Ukraine, that peace be restored to the region. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have recently received their sacraments, may the breath of God touch them with peace and grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the community of St. Anne's, as we seek to live as we seek to live out the love of Jesus in our midst. We pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick, may they feel the healing hand of our God, especially for Bob Sparrow, Jody Clifford, and those listed in our prayer list. We pray to the Lord. For all who have gone before us marked with the cross, the sign of our faith, especially for John and Josephine Kulas, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. The sanctuary lamp will be burning this week in loving memory of Ina Davis. Now we pray for the intentions we offer in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all, may the sacrifice we are about to offer on this altar ascend with our prayers to you and bring upon us your blessing and your peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in singing our after hymn, New Creation.
friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial lamb who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave that cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we hear this breath and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look 
we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your glorious apostles and martyrs, Saint Anne and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory be yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Father of all, may the sacrifice me. graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just one announcement, uh, this weekend on uh, tomorrow after the 11 o'clock mass, we're having our first annual St. Ann Fest chicken barbecue. Uh, tickets should be on sale after mass by, by the uh, organ. And uh, I think that they're half a chicken, potato, coleslaw, and, and roll for $15. So uh, if you want a pre-sale ticket, you can get them tonight or we really, really hope to see you tomorrow for eat in or dine out takeout. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is now ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve our God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Enjoy the evening. Let us close our Mass with the closing hymn, Jerusalem, My Happy Home, verses 1 and 5.